if Gatsby can successfully complete this haunted house, he will enter through there and exit through there. Are you up for the challenge? In order to make the haunted house, we're gonna need to go and get some supplies. And so, we're headed off to the dollar store. Ah, oh, perfect. <gasps> this kinda looks like a trash bag. Creepy balloons. So much stuff to get. Yes. Sure. Eat, drink, and be scary. Lame. I need to calm down a little bit. I'm, I'm like buying everything. Ryan goes to the dollar store, buys 25 items. How much does he spend? Ah, got some dry ice. Time to decorate. I'm setting up your haunted house, Gatsby. You gotta be patient. Can you do it? Jab. Hold up! Gatsby's gonna do the haunted house again in the dark, but first let's start the vlog. Oh, what? You want me to play with you? Give me the ball. Thank you. Good morning everybody and welcome to today's vlog! You know As you guys saw probably in the beginning of the vlog, we are doing a haunted house for Gatsby! Other than that though, a little update on the calendars that I announced in the last vlog. Yay! I worked super hard last night with the photographer and we finally chose and finalized all the pictures of the calendar. I'm actually super, super proud with how all the pictures turned out. They look so good and I would say it is at least as good as last year's calendar, which I am the most proud of. I spent the morning on the phone with the calendar printing company. They will be sending me a hard copy proof to be approved and hopefully we'll have the calendars by the beginning of November. And so you can look forward to that along with a few more surprises coming up. And in other news, my aquarium's doing pretty well since we added the new fish Kirby the pintail wrasse right over here I'm feeding my fish a little treat blood worms look at them go as you can see this wrasse eats like a pig all the fish look nice and healthy and there's no ick to be seen the sand is looking a lot better than before there is still some red slime but as you can see the starfish are doing a very good job at cleaning all of it up and as you can see my Monty cap is still growing like crazy and that's your aquarium update is it time for your raw food here you go Pork and lamb. And for dinner he gets green tripe from beef. Okay, time to head off to the gym. Gonna hit some back. See you guys there. Okay, just had to hit the gym super quick because we're gonna be doing the haunted house later tonight. I gotta get ready. Every day I'm praying to the YouTube God when the next vlog will come. From Brian from Manchester, Massachusetts. Kira from Ashland, Oregon. Never stop making vlogs. Never stop keeping positive and never stop being awesome. Somebody in Singapore. Hello Ryan, my name is Carol. Can't wait to see Gatsby's response when he sees a clone of himself. Warmest regards, Carol. What? It's like a plush keychain of Gatsby. That's awesome. 
Oh wow, it's so soft. Who is this, Gatsby? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> is that you? I do have a lot more letters, but we can't get to them right now because we have a lot more to do. Let's continue on with the vlog. Before we do the haunted house, I thought we would do a crafting with corgi segment. But we gotta go and grab the supplies first. Okay, pineapple, pumpkin vinaigrette, pumpkin butter. Let's try the sparkling pumpkin size. Hey yo, let it go, let's go. I keep a bar like Esco. I want a ball where the nets go. I'm on stage, you can stand where the guests go. Corgis are my sons, they don't want to leave the nest though. I'm like, oh, where the ref go? I get these hoes scared to pass, I got the intercept flow. I made a movie like Seth Rogue. And since I came in the game, their career's on death row. Damn, ain't seen young Nikki in a week. Five shows made three million in a week. You are now looking at the best the elite. Too bad you can't go and invest them critiques. I'm thick and petite, tongue quick, pick a seat. I pull up in a ghost, no sheets, trick or treat. I know they on E, but I don't give a F though. Bad attitude, but my corgis is the best though. It tastes like ginger ale. <laughs> it has an aftertaste of pumpkin spice. I wouldn't say it tastes like pumpkin at all. That's fine with me, I love ginger ale. And it's time for some more crafting with corgis. Today we are gonna be making a pineapple jack-o'-lantern. Having grown up in Hawaii, it's way too expensive to ship over so many pumpkins. And so for Halloween, we would carve pineapples. How many of you guys actually believe that? No, we don't. <laughs> My friend showed me this online and I was like, that sounds pretty cool, let's try it out. And here's what you will need. A corgi, a pineapple, a pineapple corer, a knife and some pumpkin carving tools, and a light source. First, let's cut the pineapple. I'm gonna save this for later. Does it smell good? Next, let's use this pineapple corer. I just borrowed this from my friend. Oh, look at this, perfectly sliced pineapple. Oh, pineapple juice. And we cut out the core. Oh, there. I think we can scrape out the rest. Now all we need to do is use our tool here. We're gonna make it a happy pineapple. There we go, ha! Are you impressed, Gatsby? Let's use some paper towels to dry out the inside. It's a little too wet still. Turn it on. Stick it inside the pineapple here and put his hat back on. Ta-da! Ta-da, Gatsby! Ta-da! <laughs> we did it, Gatsby! Crafting with corgis! If you decide to do your own pineapple jack-o'-lantern, make sure to post on social media and tag us in it. And now we have all this yummy pineapple to eat. Good dog, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Come on. You can do it. Go, go, go. Gatsby, go. Good dog. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good job. Go. Good job, Gatsby. Now let's see if you can do it with the lights off. <laughs> Good job, Gatsby, you did it! You did it, you completed the haunted house twice! Yeah! Good job, Batman. What are you up to, Gatsby? <laughs> Too scary? Hey, hey. it's Sean! Hey. <laughs> it's called In-N-Out Burger, but it's definitely not In-N-Out. It takes a really long time, because they make it after you order. It's the best. Ooh, I'm number 44 and they're at like 31. Check it out, look what I got. Shiny Pikachu. I don't know how you got two. And I have another one. It's super rare. Sean doesn't even have one. It's a double double. Animal style sauce. <laughs> the iceberg lettuce gives it such a good crunch. Quality, you can taste. Can you taste the quality, Sean? 
Yep. It was so good. You guys, in the comments, do you guys understand Sean's shirt? Do you get it? I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> I didn't put two and two together, let's just say that. It's pretty clear to me. Though. I was like, was there like a famous astronaut? <laughs> but... Wow. <laughs> okay, we're out. The pineapple jack-o'-lantern. That's pretty cool. Finally got everything cleaned up and put away. That took forever. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of work. And that in and out burger was so good. And I gotta get back to work on all this stuff. So until the next vlog, good night. It's like, please, sir. Today, I'm gonna make some homemade dog friendly ramen, and Gatsby's gonna try it for the first time. Are you ready? And since dogs can't have soy sauce based ramen, we are gonna make a chicken based one with my instant pot pressure cooker. We have 